One thing I wanted to mention is, again, like I said at the beginning, is I want to rely more on our forums, our community, our at twotonewaffle.com. It's it's a great place. If you if you haven't been there before, it's a great place. I have uh, articles and stuff, blog posts. I am working on re, uh, getting the newsletter back and running, but we do have our forums here that you can join up. We also have a Discord and stuff like that. Um, the reason why I bring this up is because with YouTube comments are probably the worst way to actually be involved with people who are coming watching to your watching your videos and leaving a comment. Now, you for me personally, what hap what has happened many times is I get a notification for someone who has commented on a video. Okay, cool. So I go and check it out. I'll either give it a thumbs up, heart it, or reply to it. Most of the time I do try to reply to your comments. But the thing is, is what's happening is that YouTube doesn't give me any not further notifications that someone has replied to my reply. I don't see that if I go into my uh, the YouTube studio and it has a spot there for the latest comments, that's just comments that are just new comments to a video. There's not a reply to a reply. You don't, I don't get that. I don't know if, if there's something that some setting I'm missing or anything like that. If there is, please let me know down in the comments down below. But the thing is that there's been times where I have to go in. Let me go ahead. Well, I'm not signed in on this one. Anyways, I would have to go into the, the YouTube comments and I have to click off of comments, the filter that is that says comments I have not responded to yet. So I pretty much have to say, give me all the comments. And that's the only way I can find out if I have missed a comment or a reply to a comment. So what I really want to try to put out there for all of the videos going forward and stuff like that, I've already been doing that, but going forward, I really want to emphasize if you want to talk about or discuss whatever video topic that you, whatever video that you're replying to or commenting on, go to the link that'll be in that be pinned to the the comments in that particular video go go to our website go to twotonewaffle.com and that's where i'm going to have all the discussion i really i am disappointed really with a multi-billion dollar company that you no know, is a de facto monopoly for video hosting and live streaming of video content that they can't give a notification if you get a reply to a reply of a comment. It's a weird thing. I know, right? You want to get notified. No, oh, someone reply to your reply. Here's here. Here's what they said. No, it's like I had the reason why I, this has been spurned on is I had replied to somebody talking or asking about what was it? If they can reset their settings in Trovo. And I was like, I'm not really understanding what you're saying. Can you explain a little bit better? And they did, but I didn't get the notification that they replied until two weeks later. And when I went in there and I was like, why do I have to go through this whole process of finding replies? I have to open, have everything open for all the replies just to go through. Oh, okay. That's new. That's just, it's a no brainer. It's something stupid, simple that I know a Google or YouTube engineer probably posted up, but you know what? And this is, I saw this on, I forget on social media somewhere, Lemmy or something like that. The reason why this is not like de facto the official response or what's going on. The reason why Google is doing so many new projects and kills off old projects is that people who want to get ahead or, or get promoted within the company and within Google are not doing oh this is a good idea that make the user workflow or user experience better and let's say youtube now here's option b for getting this pushed through they're not doing that they're doing oh would it be great if we make a product x to make whatever 
problem that we're looking for a solution for or a solution for looking for a problem. It's those projects that are getting pushed through and then being worked on. Anything like maintaining a or improving a user experience, it's not really getting worked on whatsoever. There's probably a few people who are doing that, but the problem is that it's like bottom of the barrel of, yeah, we'll get that eventually. Yeah, that's not even back burner. That's not even on the stove. It's still in the pantry. It's not even in the pantry. It's still in the store. <laughs> so that's my take. And I, when I saw, when I read that, I'm like, you know what? That makes really good sense that to see these projects and to see that they're getting the maintenance rot of a lot of these products within Google. We see it all the time that, Hey, it would be better if you like made just a small change just to do this, but nope, we're not going to do that because that requires actual effort. And we want to create a new project to kill off about a year and a half from now because we got bored with it and no one's using it because we're not promoting it. So that's the thing that's what I'm thinking is happening on YouTube. And of course it's a big company. So anything, any kind of changes or anything like that, it's gonna, it's a big ship. It's not going to turn on a dime. So that's my take on what's going on with the YouTube and what I really want to push people into going to the threads. Like I have them all here. Uh, I, like I started bringing stuff in. So this is the previous video or one video that I have a link into this video to come to this, this thread on the forums or in the community. I really don't want to call it a forum. It's more of a community because we're moving past that these are just forums. That's all they ever, that all they will ever be is just a forum. So I want to keep it more of, this is a community that we're working with. 